Okay, so hello men, women, children, babies. Today we're going to go over some dupes for some high-end stuff. As you can see, I set everything out, so we'll just start from here. Okay, so if you bought that UA Making a Wish set that I just showed in the haul video before this one, you'll see that it is a dupe for the Stila Glitter in Molten Midnight. I have it swatched on my hand already, so as you can see, they're like the exact same color. Come on, fuck ass. Anyway, they're the exact same color, so even with it being blurry, you can see like they're pretty similar. There we go. They're pretty similar. Obviously, the Stila one is a little more opaque, but I mean, like since it came with the set, and you see the exact dupe for Molten Midnight, then you don't have to buy Molten Midnight. You can say that twenty four dollars for something else. So next, I got lipstick dupe. I have Shroom by um. Lime Crime and Kylie Cosmetics um, Brown Sugar. They're literally like the exact same color. I swatched them on my hand a couple of days ago because I was like, which one of these should I wear? And I was like, wait, they look really similar. It turns out they're the exact same color. Now, the Lime Crime one is 18 or 20. And then this one, I think it's like 24 or 27 because she has the lip liner. So if you want to save a little bit of money, because I know everybody doesn't like Kylie Cosmetics or the Kardashians in general. So that's why I named these two dupes so you know you have an idea of what to get better. Sorry if my family is loud in the background. Next, I have one from Persona Cosmetics. I have, um, what is the name of this one? OG. Yeah, I have the OG um, Classic Nude color. And then I have the um, L'Oreal Infallible color in Nudist. So, obviously, if you don't want to spend, I believe this one was 16 or $18. And this one is only, I think, like 7 or 10 at best. And it's somewhere, oh, the two in the middle. So... This one, so literally the two, like right in the middle, look exactly like those are the two that I'm t referring to. They um, are dupes for each other, and you can save yourself a little more money, girl. I love Persona Cosmetics formula, but I like the infallible formula too. That's why I didn't mind um, showing both. Okay, so now with these two, I have Midnight Fever by Kathleen Lights, and then I have Old Flame by Dose of Colors. Now, I put these two together, like the now the Midnight um, Fever is a little bit darker than old flame but on the lips i'm sure if you put like one more coat of old flame on top people won't notice the difference the only reason i'm naming this one is because kathleen lights got in trouble a little while ago for saying the n-word and you know some people weren't cool with her saying it because at the end of the day she's not black so i was given the option of old flame just in case you you know have a problem with her but this is a gorgeous color and i already own it so i'm keeping mine but old flame is a good alternative i got mine during the um the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale in the fall, winter time or whatever, but they're two great, pretty colors, and here are them on my hand. So, as you can see, the one in front is Old Flame, and the one in back is Midnight Fever. So, as you can see, it's a little bit darker, but like I said, if you put another coat on, it should be fine. They look exactly the same. Now, we're going to go into the last two things I have, which is highlighters. So, I swatched these earlier. This is Bali by Ofer, and this is from Kathleen Nice Collection. It's called Fire the Super Sh um, Shock um, Cheek Highlighter. They were the exact same color. I think this one might have been a little bit darker, but on the skin, nobody would be able to tell the difference. They are gorgeous, and this one obviously is way cheaper than Ofer when Ofer highlighters are super expensive. And I hate to say it, but I feel like they're overhyped because they're just really powdery and not that great to me. But I have both, and you know, I like both, so there you go. Uh, the last one I have is this Chocolate Geode by um, Becca. And then I have the Persona Cosmetics in Delmar. They are the exact same color when you swatch them on the skin. So here is Delmar. And let's get... I always open these up in the wrong way. Like, I always try to open it from the back. And then I'm, like, wrong. And I'm feeling, like, stupid in my feelings. Because I look dumb. Even, like, when I'm not filming and I try to open it, I still feel stupid because I'm like, why can't I get this open? But as you can see, like, they are super similar. They're almost exactly the same color. Matter of fact, I will swatch them. I had them swatched just a few minutes ago, but I had to wipe them off to, like, do all the lip swatches you see on my arm. So that's Chocolate Geode, and this is Delmar. Let me see. Mm, right there. And right there. And here they are side by side. See, they look identical. Like, Chocolate Geo actually looks a little bit lighter than Del Mar, but both of them are beautiful colors. Yeah, there you go. They're beautiful colors, and I would recommend either one because I like both the formulas of these and both the colors.
I feel like a lot of people sleep on Persona Cosmetics, but she has like some decent stuff like I did too. Eyeshadow palette looks with her. She was in my um favorites of 2018. So she has some good stuff. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope some of these dupes help you as, you know, I tried to get some affordable ones. Everything wasn't exactly affordable, but I think I found at least two or three drugstore-ish or cheaper alternatives. So I'm hoping that helps. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye.